everybody, sorry about that. The other video stopped. I don't know why, but for those of you that have been following me, um, I am not sophisticated with video software and I don't have the time to spend figuring it all out. I don't do fluffy, super professional videos. My goal is to teach you for free techniques and uh, tips to help you accelerate your journey in the ancient art of wire. So I wanted you to see the finish off of this bracelet attaching the um, uh, hook clasp or hook to the clasp. So what I did is I have myself here some twisted wire jump rings and I like to add different dimensions and elements to my designs. So twisted wire, when you twist it, it hardens it really nice. And for jump rings, it's a big deal because on a bracelet, there's a lot of pulling and tugging. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to add double jumps to my last link so that I can do my clasp. So that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna add two of these to each spiral because I really want it reinforced. This is gonna end up being like a seven inch bracelet. And by the way, a lot of that length is determined, your final length, how big you make your hook. I like bigger hooks so people can actually have something to hold on to. I, all of us, I'm sure, have had those itty bitty bracelets with those tiny five millimeter lobster claws trying to uh, <laughs> get the dang thing on and having to ask people to put it on for you and Oh my gosh, it's such a pain. So now I've cut myself uh, a bigger one, just a little bit bigger that I'm gonna be attaching. And so now I'm gonna run two more through here. And this is why we need bigger rings. I'm hoping that's big enough. It looks like it is. And I'm really, really making sure that clicks in there. See how cool this is going to look? It's just going to give it a cool look. Can you see that? So I'm going to add, did I get enough of those? My bigger... And I'm going to put my hook through. And that's it. And so that finishes off this bracelet. I'm going to tumble this in my jeweler's tumbler. If you're ever interested in what kind of tumbler I use, just message me. And so this is what you should have. And so the reason why I like them bigger hooks is I want something to hold on to. So all you're going to do, oh, let's measure this first. This ended up being seven, just seven and an eighth of an inch, where this one was eight inches. If you want it smaller, then remove, if you need a six inch, remove a link. You'll always use it later. So all I'm going to do is hold that clasp or that hook and I'm going to turn my wrist and swing it around and you can see where I made my clasp and I'm just gonna hook it in and that's what you have. Isn't that adorable? Just adorable and I love it in the sterling. It's just such a fluid, relaxed piece. It's not meant to be snug, you guys. Somebody wants it snug, they're gonna have a harder time hooking it and then you're going to have to have a lot of chain hanging so that they have different places to anchor off based on how tight they want it. But they're going to need the chain to have something to hold on to. But I just love this bracelet. I can't wait to get this polished. I really hope you enjoy that, everybody. Sorry about the two videos. But hey, so 
Have a wonderful, magical wire wrap day. Thank you so much for being a part of this ancient art of wire. It's a phenomenal community. Never undercut or undervalue what you do. It takes thousands of hours of dedication to create and take a piece of wire and make it into something beautiful. I call it wire art because I never think of myself making jewelry. It's just the fruition of my efforts. And as Thumper said in Bambi, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Have a magical day, everyone. See you soon. Bye for now.